Ciao, Mario. Welcome back to my channel. So it's a happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, and I also want to say Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. So I wish you all of you a happy Sunday, and welcome back to my channel, This Bed Loves Empire. If this is your first time here, please do well to subscribe and press on the bell button so that whenever I load a video, you'll be the first to receive it. So, what is today's topic about? Moreover, 2019 is almost over. So, before I introduce you to 2019 stuff, I mean the topic for today, let's just go for a quick commission break and we'll be back and yeah, we're gonna talk and have fun. Happy Sunday. Ciao. Welcome back. Welcome back. And today's topic is actually about what I've actually achieved, my achieved goals in 2019 so far. And my failures, how I went about it, how I overcame it, and how I still keep my smile on. <laughs> okay, so I think I should, um, let me start with uh, my ups and downs. Forgive the shadow behind. It's an evening video. You know I love you, so I still want to give you a video. So you just find my shadow behind because of the light and everything. So just focus on me. I'm the most important person here. <laughs> okay, so let me start with the my favorites. Then I will end with uh, my achieved goals so far for 2019. So first of all, I will say... Um, it hasn't been an easy task but before i continue let me close my wardrobe okay i guess it's better now <laughs> i just don't want to scare anyone okay so let me just start with my worst styles for i mean my worst experience for 2019 um i think not i think 2019 hasn't been easy let me put it that way but um, we got all things are possible you know we've made it um, starting from 2019 I've been disappointed several times um, I've been broken yeah I've been shattered I've shed tears yeah uncountable tears for 2019 I know because of the way I like smiling people always think I don't cry with my friends when I tell them I cry they don't believe it but I do 2019 hasn't been easy like i mean coming to school i came late 2018 it wasn't easy writing exams i mean but i still made it i'm here i mean i passed all my papers it's not by my strength come on it's been christ from day one i mean friends have also disappointed me in one way or the other but you know some people come into your life to teach you a lesson, others to motivate you, others also to stay. So anyone you meet in life, I mean, it's worth it. So I would say it was worth the experience. I've shed tears in one way or the other, both in relationship-wise and then also, um, uh, I mean, we always don't meet a perfect man, you know, so... I mean, one way or the other, you share tears, forgive me. And I've also um, had some ups and downs, family issues, financial issues. Especially living here alone, it hasn't actually been easy. But you know, God has actually always found ways and means of, I mean, meeting me at a point. Seriously. Um, I'm coming from a more religious home, but... I wouldn't just say it's how I've been brought up, you know. My father is a pastor. I wouldn't say it's, um, it's more of how I've been brought up, no. But I think it's called self-discipline. And that's what led me here. And then, uh, aside tears and disappointments, and uh, what else would I even say? Um... I think at times like it gets stressful life we are all human it gets stressful at times but it's been good so I would say that now let me just this is not going to be a long video so let me move on to my goals so far first of all I'm alive 
<laughs> I know I'm alive and it's an achievement you know not everyone started with us from 1st January 2019 you know and seriously um, I'm here I'm still alive and I know I'm going to pass through 2019 31st of December and I'll move through to um, 2020 and still pass by 2020 so first of all that's a great achievement it's not by my grace it's not because of my beauty it's not because of my smiles or anything but Christ just got me from the one and I've been I'm, I I must say it's a great achievement and I'm so grateful to God um, another thing before I move on to my um, I mean uh, my achievements so far I want to chip in with one disappointment or oh, not disappointment actually one of my pullbacks I mean applying to school last year wasn't easy I was rejected twice by the embassy on a flimsy excuse i had to appeal i had got go through so many difficulties to get my visa i mean a lot of people do appeal but they don't win their case but i did which however i mean i had my visa i think it's good because um 2017 i had been rejected and i, I had prayed and i said god I want, and that's I was rejected somewhere in September too. I said, God, I want this to be, let him give me my visa. I'm applying again. I want it to be my birthday present. And the next year, which is 2018, I was rejected. I mean, when I was rejected, like, it's, I wept. Seriously, I cried because I felt I had everything in place and I was going to just achieve because um, furthering my education was one of my dreams as well. And very funny um <laughs> during that period and everything I, I at a point i lost hope but you know i had my visa during that period i had my visa on the 31st of october 2018 and on the first of november it was my birthday so you know it was just god's way so indeed whatever birthday i had asked for i had it the main reason i checked this in you could see my finger is not that straight i mean i don't know if you can see like yeah on my day of departure i broke my finger i said that in my previous video i broke my finger up to now it's still not straight it's more than a year now yeah it's a year and one month and some few weeks and like i mean it's still not straight that that has been one of my pushback but you know pull back i mean christ still got me it hasn't been an easy one entering i mean 2019 which has just also one of the things I, I i really did suffer from and moving continuing with my achievements you know um i wanted to come to school i'm here i still pursue my dreams and i might say god has been grateful just last um monday which was on the 13th i wrote my last paper and i mean I'm done with school. I'm almost done. Left with my thesis and my graduation, and I'm done. So I think that's one of my achievements, and I'm grateful to God. And another achievement, seriously, entering 2019, I met some new friends. Aside some friends that I met that I mean disappointed me and all that. Like I told you before, others come to strengthen you, and others don't. And they've been there throughout. I mean, they've held my stubborn ass. <laughs> up and down and like i mean they still hold on to me my annoying side hey guys seriously i love you gloria joan justin ben tony tijani ali i mean i can mention all names and yeah marcelo i met my new flatmates marcelo and the girlfriend i mean a lot of people i can't mention all names here to all my church members who have held on to me i mean i'm really grateful you've been good and another achievement is that um i was embarking on this uh, saving thing and i mean it's been good god has actually helped with that um i must say i'm grateful you know not all starts and gets here and 
ending my video i just want you to know that you know life life has its own ups and downs it's always never easy you know um we face it once we fall we have to rise even if we fall 77 times seven times we have to rise that is one thing you have to rise rise and still push on seriously if i tell you the number of times in 2019 i've been knocked down but you know that still didn't break me when i tell people about my story some deep story i mean i'm not going to talk about that here i mean they're like wow and you still hold on to your smile that doesn't mean i'm i'm i'm, I'm i mean i'm an immortal i'm not i'm still human you know i still move on 2019 almost and then I have achieved a lot especially having life i ask god for life he should he should keep me through the whole year my family everything and i'm still here it's not by my mind it's not it's not because i had paid for it seriously if we were paying for life i couldn't have afford it but all i wanted to know is that whatever you set your eyes to just know that it's gonna come you're gonna achieve it anything is possible under this sun and because it's possible do well to seriously always pray one and smile on <laughs> regardless what happened to you and the number of times you are knocked down get yourself up and keep fighting because there is one thing i know what we've lost is not greater than what is ahead of us i mean what is in future so you fight on be be vigilant love more care more and uh, as i being vigilant um, you have to also be determined i mean with determination you conquer it all and i mean you can make it in life join me i know i'm going to see you in 2020 i know I know for sure. I'm going to see you in 2020. So join me. Thank God for how far he's brought me and how far he's brought you to my loved ones. I really love you guys. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> I can't say much, but ending my video, I want you to know I love you. Please do well to subscribe, comment, share, and like. And know that this is Bed Love's Empire. And we're going nowhere. We're going nowhere. 2019 is getting rid of So, I mean, I'm going to see you on the 25th i'm vlogging a live video to you on the 25th so i'm gonna see you on the 25th and i know some of us me i'm enjoying christmas already so if you're a gun get gun your jeep where i feel happy i feel yeah never need now never hold it if you're a mean and i can and a shanty a fancy um official pa i think come to you name is i am name for me come on I mean, if you are um, um, someone who speaks English, uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May this year pass by to see it come to, uh, meet us. Another year is also come back to meet us in health and strong. And if you are an Italian, I agree. I love you. Stay with us. And until then, it is until 25th of December 2019. It's ciao. Amore. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Ciao.